Good morning children. In the previous science class, we have seen five sense organs under their functions. What is the lesson name? Sense organs under their functions. What are all the five sense organs we see in our previous class? Eyes, nose, ears, tongue, skin. We also see the function of this five sense organs. In today's class, we are going to see how we can take care of this sense organs in our body. We can see one by one. The first one is eyes. So, we are going to see how we can take care of our eyes. Because the first sense organ is eyes. What is the function of eyes? Eyes helps to see the things around you. So, you should take care of your eyes very carefully. How you can take care of your eyes? First one is, we should not read in poor light. So, when you are reading, you should be aware that the light is bright. If you are reading poor light, your vision will get damaged. So, we should not read in poor light. Second one is, we should not touch our eyes with dirty hands. See, if your hand is dirty, you play it, you play it with the sand. That means you should not touch your eyes because your hand is very dirty. If you touch the eyes with the dirty hand, then it will get damaged. So, you should not touch your eyes with dirty hands. Next point is, we should not rub our eyes. See, what does mean by rub? Rub means you are doing like this. You should not do like this. You should not rub your eyes. Third, fourth point is, we should not read lying down on the table or on moving vehicle. See, while you are reading, you should sit properly and read. You should not lie down on your bed or you should not read while moving or you should not read while traveling because in this cases, our eyes will have more chance to get damaged. So, while you are reading, you should sit properly and read. You should not lie down on your bed or you should not read while traveling. Okay children, again repeating the point, we should not read lying down on the bed or on moving vehicle. The next point is, we should wash our eyes with clean water. See, every day morning while you are washing your face, you should also wash your eyes with clean water. The water should be clean. It should not be a dirty water. You should always wash your eyes with clean water. So, we should wash our eyes with clean water. The next point is, we should not sit too close and watch television. See, while watching television, you should sit in a distance. You should not sit very closely and watch television. If you watch like that, your eyes will get damaged. So, you should always sit in a distance and watch television. See the point? We should not sit too close and watch television. Now, we see again, we see this six points. The first point is, we should not read in poor light. Always read in bright light. We should not touch our eyes with dirty hands. If your hands are dirty, you should not touch your eyes with that dirty hands. You should not rub our eyes. You should not rub your eyes like this. It is a very bad habit. The next one is, we should not read lying down on the bed or on the moving vehicle. See, if you are reading, you should sit properly and read. You should not lie on your bed or you should not read on a traveling vehicle. The next one is, we should always wash our eyes with clean water. The water should be 
very clean. The last point is while watching television, you should always maintain a distance. You should not sit close and watch the television. Now we are going to the next topic. The next sense organ is ears. Ears helps to hear the sound. Now we are going to see how we can take care of our ears. The first point is always use soft cloth or ear buds to clean ears. See, if your ear has some dirty, you should not clean it with any sharp object. You should clean it with a soft cloth or you may clean it with the ear buds. Okay. Next point is we should not use sharp objects to clean ears. See, you should not use a safety pin like that or pencil to clean your ears because you should not use sharp object to clean the ear. You will always use soft cloth or ear buds to clean your ears. Next point is avoid listening to loud music. See, we all love music. But we should hear the music in a low volume. You should not hear music in a high volume. It will damage your ears. Next point is use swimming cap to prevent the entry of water while swimming. See, when you are going to a swimming class, you should wear your swimming cap so that it cover your ears and it will not allow the entry of water. If water may get in, your ears will have chance to get damaged. So, you should always wear a swimming cap while swimming. Next point is cover ears with cotton while going out during winter time. See, during winter time, while you are going to shopping or near your living shopping, you should wear a cotton inside your ears. That will prevent the entry of the snow. So, you should always wear a cotton while going out during winter time. Okay, children, now we will revise this points. See, what are the other steps to take care of your ears? First one is, you should always clean your ears with soft cloth or ear buds. You should not use sharp objects to clean your ears. Next one is, while hearing the music, you should always hear music in a low volume. You should not hear it in a high volume. Then, while going to a swimming class, you should always wear a swimming cap. Because, Swimming cap prevents the entry of water. The last point is always cover your ears with cotton while you are going out during winter time. The next sense organ is nose. What is the function of nose? Nose helps to smell and breathe. Okay, now we are going to see how we can take care of our nose. See the topic. Taking care of our nose. First one is we should clean our nose while having a bath. Every day we have bath no. While bathing we should also wash our nose. Okay. See the point. We should clean our nose while having a bath. Next point is we should not Put pencil or any other objects inside the nostril. What does mean by nostril? See, the holes present in the nose is called as nostril. So, you should not put any pencil or sharp object inside your nostril. It is a very bad habit. Listen, we should not put pencil or any other object inside nostril. Nostrils means the holes in the nose. You should not put any pencil or any other object inside the nostril. Third point is blow your nose gently while having cold. If you get cold means you should not blow your nose roughly or very hotly. You should blow your nose gently. Okay children, listen the point. Blow your nose gently while having cold. 
Next point is cover your nose with handkerchief while sneezing. See, while sneezing, you should cover your nose with handkerchief. Okay, what is the point? Cover your nose with handkerchief while sneezing. So children, now we are going to see the four points of taking care of our nose. The first point is while bathing every day, you should also wash your nose. You should not forget it because you should always keep your nose clean. So every day while bathing, you should wash your nose also. The second point is you should not put any pencil or sharp objects or any other object inside your nostril. Nostril means the two holes present in the nose. You should not put any objects inside the nostril. What is the third point? Blow your nose gently while having cold. See, when you got cold cough means you should not blow your nose so hardly. You should do it very gently. Okay? The last point is when you sneeze, you should always cover your nose with kerchief. You should not sneeze in the open air. You should always cover your nose with kerchief while sneezing. The next sense organ is? Yes. Tongue. What is the function of tongue? Tongue helps to taste the food. What is the function of tongue? Yes. Tongue helps to taste the food. Now we are going to see how we can take care of our tongue. Because tongue is an important sense organ. If you not have tongue, what will happen? You can't able to taste any food. So you should take care of your tongue very carefully. The first point is tongue should be kept clean. See, always after eating, you should clean your tongue also. Your tongue should be always kept clean. Repeat the point. Tongue should be kept clean. What is the second point? Clean your tongue with tongue cleaner. See, every day while brushing, you should also clean your tongue with tongue cleaner. You should clean your tongue with tongue cleaner. So, what are the two points of taking care of our tongue? First one, we should always keep our tongue clean. Second point, while brushing, you should always clean your tongue with tongue cleaner. Okay children, what is the last sense organ? Skin. See, our skin covers our entire body. It is the largest external organ. So, now we are going to see how we can take care of our skin. Before that, what is the function of skin? Yes, skin helps us to touch. What is the function of skin? Skin helps us to touch. Now we can see the taking care of our skin points. First point is have a bath every day. See, bathing is a very good habit. Every day you have to bath. Okay, it helps to Keep your body very clean and also keep your skin clean and neat. So, every day you should take bath. What is the first point? Have a bath every day. Second point is wear clean cloth. What is the second point? Wear clean cloth. See, after taking bath, you should always wear a Clean dress and washed dress. You should not use the dirty dress and unwashed dress. You should always wear clean and neat dress. What is the second point? Wear clean clothes. So, we can take care of our skin by first point is bathing every day. You should bath every day and keep your skin clean. The second point is after bathing, you should always wear clean dress. Okay children? So, see here. In this picture, you can see the five sense organs. First one is eyes. Second one is ears. Third one is nose. What is the fourth one? Tongue. What is the 
fifth one skin so these are the five sense organs we see in our class i am repeating again first one is eyes we have two eyes second one is ears how many ears we have we have two ears third one is nose what is the third one nose in nose we have two holes the holes are called nostrils what is the fourth one tongue how many tongue we have we have only one tongue the last one is skin what is the last one skin in today's class we have seen how we can take care of our five sense organs now we can revise the class first one how we can take care of our eyes the first point is you should not read in a poor light you should always read in a bright light you should not rub your eyes okay children next one is you should not touch your eyes with dirty hands what is the third point you should not touch your eyes with dirty hands the fourth point is daily you have to wash your eyes with clean water in which water clean water every day you should wash your eyes with clean water the next one is while reading you should not lie down on the bed you should sit properly and read otherwise your eyes will get more damaged the next sense organ is ears what is the next sense organ we see ears what are the points we see to take care of our ears first one we should clean our ears with the soft cloth or ear buds you should not use any rough cloth or sharp objects to clean your ears next one you should not hear music in a loud volume you should always hear music in a low volume next one is while going for swimming class you should always cover your ears with swimming cap because it prevent the entry of water into your ears next thing is during winter season while you are going out you should cover your ears with cotton see cotton or sharp objects cotton you should cover your ears with cotton okay children what is the third sense organ the third sense organ is nose what are the points we see to take care of our nose first point is we should always wash our nose while bathing second point is we should not put any pencil or any other object inside the nostril the third point is we should blow our nose gently while we get cold or cough the last point is we should use kerchief while sneezing so you should always have a kerchief while going out the next sense organ is tongue what is the next sense organ tongue we should always keep our tongue clean so every day while brushing you should clean our tongue with the tongue cleaner you should clean your tongue with the tongue cleaner and the last one is skin what are the two points we see today first one every day we should take a bath because if you bath daily your skin will be more clean and neat after bathing you should always wear a clean dress okay children so in sign lesson 2 we have seen the five sense organs and their function and also how to take care of this sense organs now today's home assignment is you have to take a fresh page and write the short answer that sent to you in pdf see while writing you should always sharp your pencil you should not scribble or overwrite you should write neatly thank you children have a nice day